Hello my dear family members I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming offline extension exam now it's your duty to convert the fear to energy and confident today i will assist you by discussing a coding questions that was asked on last off campus drive 2023 don't ignore it similar logic problem may come again so let's see what is the question <laughs> So the question is regarding inversion count in an array. So let j and k be two indices in an array A. If j less than k and a j is greater than a k, then the pair j k is known as inversion pair. You are required to implement the following function. The function accepts an array A of n unique integers as its argument. You are required to calculate the number of inversion pair in an array A and return, right? Note that if a is null, none in case of python return minus 1, if n less than n, 2 return 0. So this is the sample input given to us. This is the elements of array and this is the size of the array and this is the output 5, how I am explaining. So at first it will check if the first element is greater than any element, no, then it will go to the second. Uh, second index then it will check if the element is greater than the other element in the right side yes so it will be it will increment the count as one right so 26 is a pair 24 is a pair 25 is a pair so it will increment count it will initialize count as three right so now six four is also a pair six five is also a pair so count will be now five right okay that's why the output is 5 okay the next input is this so this these are the elements of array and this is the size of the array so if 13 is greater than any element then increment the one right so 13 is greater than this 13 is greater than this greater than this right so count will be 3 then 10 9 is a pair 10 6 is a pair so count will be 5 then uh, 9 is greater than 6 so now count will be 6 and 21 is greater than both of them so this will be there will be two pairs more so the count will be 8 and 15 is greater than 14 so the count will be 9 now right so the output is 9 i hope you have got the logic right so let's see what is the solution before we proceed to the solution i would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus coding question right Otherwise, it will be helpful to you very much. I am confirming you, right? Just do that and take the scanner object. Scanner SC is equal to new. Scanner system dot in. Now read the number of elements in the array, right? In n is equal to sc dot next int right and create an array to store the elements right so int arr is equal to new int the size right okay now read the elements of the array so for int i is equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus and array i is equal to sc dot next in right okay now initialize a variable to count the inversion so out of the for loop just initialize the count right count is equal to zero at first let's take up for loop i n minus 1 you will understand why i took n minus 1 just little bit wait and j is equal to i plus 1 actually we have to calculate i mean we have to compare the ith element with the j element right so that's why we have to iterate the first for loop until the second last element right otherwise it will be it will give index out of bound range so j less than n and j plus plus right okay now it will be okay i think 
so check if the current pair of elements forms an inversion or not so if what was the condition if array i is greater than array j if this then increment the count right so count plus plus right and out of the for loop just print the count right s out count this will be okay i think i have not taken the function it is your duty to fulfill the criteria right okay let's run the code then see what is the output if this is wrong or right okay the first input was size of the array 5 then 1 20 6 4 and 5 so output should be 5 and it is 5 right so let's check the second input that is the size of the array is 7 and the elements are 13 10 9 6 21 15 14 right so output should be 9 and the output is 9 right i hope you have got the logic right this type of simple questions are also coming right one is from dynamic programming and one is from very simple knowledge so don't worry right so if you want more such content then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist for your betterment right link will be given in the description box so thank you for today's session